Example Investigation In order to start investigating alerts, we must first start working on by taking the relevant alert on the main channel. We should choose the alert that we will start working on with a high criticality level. When we investigate the priorities of the alerts on the main channel, we see that there are high and medium alerts. We can begin to investigate the high priority alert with event ID 19. In order to start investigating the alert, we must take the ownership of the relevant alert. For this, we must use the Take Ownership button on the right side of the alert. With this button, the ownership of the selected alert is transferred to you and to the investigation channel, which is the Alert Review channel. We made sure that the names of the rules are understandable, but you can get the information from the Tutorial Use Cases menu to find out in which situations the rule is triggered. You can obtain the alert details by clicking on the relevant alerts from the investigation channel. When we examine the alert details, we see that the application named Credit Card running on the Catherine Pratt device performed privilege escalation. In order to examine the file associated with the alert, you can download the file to your system by clicking on the file name in the download section. Remember, as Let's Defend, we use real malware for education. You should not run these files on your own system. The alert looks suspicious, so we create a case with the Create Case button, directing us to the Case Management page. We enter the case details with the help of the button on the right side of the case from the Case Management page. Playbooks have been created to teach how to investigate a cyber incident. We launch the playbook with the Start Playbook button. We can check whether the malware is in quarantine or not by clicking on the relevant alert on the monitoring page. The application is not quarantined because it is indicated that device action allowed. For this reason, we choose no. We are asked to analyze the malicious application. You can analyze malware using the free services within Playbook. We have analyzed the file before and we chose malicious as we saw that the file is harmful as a result of our analysis. We add the data we obtained during our analysis as artifacts. We are asked to check if the malicious C2 address has been accessed. We go to the Log Management page and look for the malicious address. As the purpose of the respective malware is privilege escalation, it may not be connecting to the C2 address. In these cases, the relevant process should be examined on the Endpoint Security page. When the process list of the Catherine Prod device is examined, we see that the credit card application works with the Catherine user and then with the root user. For this reason, we can mark the Yes section as Access Available via Playbook. Because malware is currently running on the device, we need to isolate the device from the network. We isolate the device with the Isolate button on the Endpoint Security and end our playbook. Finally, we need to end the alert. We click on the Close Alert button on the monitoring page. Because the alert is not false positive, we choose true positive. We fill in the description section by giving brief information about the case and the actions taken. From the closed alert tab, we can learn the accuracy of our answers and the amount of points we have earned during which stage, respectively. 